Monday, 26th of September, and I am right next to North Pier, as you can see, and look, this is the the camera up, look at those waves. The tide in, it's not a particularly high tide, but it is a windy high tide. The wind blows me in a little bit deeper than what it would be, and it's a very windy high tide. So, probably going to hear all the wind in the camera. One of the windiest days of the year so far, from what I remember. But we've still got the old fashioned railings on this part of the pond. And for this little top bit here, we can still see the old battle face seawall. So, that's what I'm going to show you from that side. A little bit under North Pier still has the original seawall. Not the original, the Victorian seawall, because there was another before that. Let's take a look at these boppy waves. Completely covering the lower part. Well, not completely covering, but. They are just in the lower top. So look out there. We just appreciate that cloudy sky and those waves. And I'm going to zoom all the way around. So we can see our favourite pier. Well, it's my favourite pier. And the majority of people that come to my channel do say they like North Pier the best. That's because the majority of my viewers are a little older and us old folks tend to like North Pier the best. If you have a different favourite pier, let me know in the comments. Here we can see Talbot Square. Metropole that way, the Cenotaph that way, Cleveland, Bispen, Fleetwood in yonder that way, Talbot Square here with the new tram tracks. I filmed these new tracks. In fact, I filmed the entirety of those tracks being laid down. Not only that, I filmed the entirety of the old original tram tracks being dug up. It's a big big long series on my channel. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen them if you've been following me for a long time but if you haven't yes I did film all the old tram tracks being dug up and around the same time as well or ish same time I filmed all North Station getting all dug up and getting the electrics put in. But anyway I'm going to turn around now and walk Central here, and in a south direction because that wind is coming from the north. If I walk with my back to the wind, we'll get less wind noise. There we go. Let's have a look at the front of the north here from across the road. With all the cars in front. See those new illumination panels there. I've been reading a lot of people's opinions on them and it's really weird. People seem to either really 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 love them or really 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 hate them. Personally I like them. When I did ride the lights and I saw them for the first time, how they were lit up, I thought they looked great lit up. And then somebody said Oh no, I like the traditional ones better with like the characters or the lights on either side. And then I looked at them again and I thought, yeah, they're not very traditional, are they? But I still like them. I understand why people prefer the old ones, but I definitely like the new ones. I think I do like the new ones better. 
We've got the North Queen Trans up there. And there's the Wedding Chapel and we can see these panels above us. I am going to have to do a full Walk the Lights video, probably in several parts. Because I know I did ride the lights, but I did it fairly early, so... When I went down towards Bisbon from Sargate, it was too light to appreciate them. And on the way back, it was so crowded, I ended up turning off at Chapel Street. So, yeah, I will do a full video walking the entirety of the Loomis. So you'll always enjoy doing that. Now with Tower Headland, well I'm across the road from the Tower Headland but it's right there across the road where Comedy Carpet is and this winter we are going to have Starflyer back, we're going to have the ice rink back, well the plastic ice rink back and we're going to have the Winter Wonderland back and it's all coming back from last year. I'm really not sure if I will ride the Starflyer this year I really want to promise you guys that I will, but if you saw my last year's Starfire video, I was pretty darn terrified. I mean, it was a windy day and it was raining. It felt like it was blowing all over the place. So if I go on it on a calmer day, it might be better. But my daughter has said if I give the camera to her, she'll ride it for me and film the ride. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, the Winter Wonderland is coming back this winter. And I did have a go at skating last year, so I am going to have another go this year. My skating is about as good as my piano playing, if you saw my Winter Gardens video when I played the piano a bit. And when I say played the piano, I mean I touched the keys and their sound came out. I actually cannot play the piano. I don't know when the star flyer is coming. I'm guessing November, end of October, beginning of November to January. And I think last year it was quite a success. Although I would like to see the star flyer here for a couple of weeks in the summer or a month in the summer. It could come from like the middle of July to the end of August. I'm sure that people would love it on those hot summery days. I mean, it was nice in the winter. Well, it was nice for the people that weren't terrified little wimps like I was. Yeah, across the road there, we have the comedy carpet. And across the road here, we have the Blackpool Tower, as of course you know. That's a good angle to see. Just walk around these posts because I just almost walked into one of them because I wasn't actually looking where I was walking. We've got the Blackpool Tower dungeon there. I'd love to go in there. I think at some point I'm going to have to, although you're probably not allowed to film in there. down this little street here this is the little street next to the tower and the old wall was building which is now Weatherspoons and that is Haywood Street you can't walk down it anymore you could walk down it when I was little but that is Haywood Street for those of you that didn't know I actually didn't know I just saw the sign and thought I'd point it out so I guess we've all learned something today and didn't it rain last night it literally just poured down the whole night really really super duper heavy rain probably piddled it down but i surprisingly got a bit of good sleep last night i felt like i slept well and when i looked at my fitbit it said i had around three hours of good sleep and that doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people who regularly get a lot more something like me that is a lifelong insomniac that is an amazing amount that is an amazing amount of sleep we're just looking at now this new 
Sands Hotel building doesn't appear to be to have been worked on on the inside for a long time there are lights on in there it's like once the company that did the outer shell finished and went I would have expected a new company to move in and crack on with doing the innards of the hotel but nobody seems to have started but we shall see anyway I'm off the prom now that is the end of this video so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button help me out please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you all very soon in the next video goodbye